hey, surprise, got a little uh, something, a little bonus for you that I was not, I uh, did not originally tell you about. However, uh, I wanted to create this video to help you get the most out of this tool. Uh, I don't know about you, but I have downloaded a lot of things and some of them are good and some of them are junk and <laughs> some of them I wish I never gave them my email. And uh, the ones that have been the best typically are things um, that it's just like, wow, that was a really great, helpful resource or the person, you know, just went out of their way to help. And so um, I am doing this. I started creating these things because I really wanted to make an impact on more small businesses. For the last 10 years, I've been running a social media advertising agency, managed more than $10 million in social media ads. And most people will never have the chance, most businesses will never have the chance to hire my team. And so this is my way to make a greater impact. And so this is what this video is. There's two reasons I'm doing this is one, I want to make this as valuable as possible. Otherwise, it's a waste of my time, um, a waste of my resources. Like, why bother? I want this to actually help you. That's number one. Number two is I realized you don't really know me. Uh, for the last decade, as I said, I've been behind the scenes, behind some major campaigns that you would absolutely know. You'd know the brands, you'd know the people, um, but I haven't been out in front since uh, my podcast over 10 years ago. I had a podcast called The Social Media Marketing Happy Hour. We had almost 400 episodes. And, uh, and so it dawned on me. And so for selfish reasons, I want you to get to know me so that you can decide, is it worth listening to? Um, because there's a lot of knowledge and experience that I have that I can help you make a greater impact. And so um, so twofold reason. One, to make this a really valuable resource for you um, so that it's not a waste of any of our time, yours or mine. Um, and number two, for you to get to know me a little bit more. So uh, definitely have have some underlying purposes and motivations to do this. So so let's talk about another uh, part of part of why I wanted to walk you through this to help make this more useful for you. Um, this is just uh, phase one. Right now, at the time of this recording, I have basically three levels of hook writing resources that I can help you with. This is the free version. Um, I have a few more planned in the future, but this is just kind of where we're at right now. So um, I wanted to talk about how to use this um, and why you want to use this. And I'll tell you a little bit about the other two options I have as well. Um, we'll do that afterwards. But writing hooks is something that you have to become really intentional about and it's something that you need to practice. When I first learned about copywriting and about um, hook writing and headline writing, um, it was, goodness, it was more than 15 years ago. And I just, I remember getting like a list of the top 100 headlines of all time and it blew my mind. And um, part, of, part of that learning was to start writing them and to you know rewrite them in different angles and, uh, and then, while I had my podcast, one of the things that helped me to become a really great um, social copywriter and to, to write hooks and to write punchy was I would take every one of our episodes and I would write three different versions, three different tweets to promote the episode. And I would really challenge myself to make them radically different. And as you can imagine, with close to 400 episodes, that was a lot of writing and a lot of variation. And so fast forward to my agency. As you can imagine, when it comes to advertising, it's really like the first line of the copy is really, really important. So I have spent a lot of time and energy, money on master classes and copywriting training and books and you name it. And if I'm not careful, I still get lazy with my hook. So this is something that even like once you start to work on it, it's just something you just always need to be intentional about, right? So it's it's an intentionality that when you make a piece of content, um, oh yeah, I have to have a hook. Like, oh yeah, did I think about, you know, I mean, you might have a topic in mind when you cut the camera on for a video, but did you got the topic, but did you spend any time developing the hook? So I've got, I've got other resources I can help you with those things, but for now, let's talk, let's talk about this. So this would be kind of like the baseline level for you, for anybody to start really diving into hook writing and how to get better at this. And some of it is just awareness, is understanding that there are different styles of hook writing. Now, this resource that I've given you has 10, and there are so, so many more than this. These are, these are things that could be written or could be spoken, but there's also visual hooks, which is a whole nother topic. But so th there's all sorts of ways to grab people's attention. And, you know, there's a, a belief that we have a shorter attention span than ever. And I would argue that that's actually not true. We have a very long attention span. Think about the series, the Netflix series or the Prime video or the Apple TV series that you have binged watched. Um, we, can fit, we can pay attention like never before. It's what grabs our interest that really is a big thing. And that's where the hook comes in. The hook is really about like 
grabbing somebody's interest, getting them to stop the scroll and saying, hey, I need to pay attention to this. Because odds are, if, if you're not doing that, you're really, really good content. The stuff that, may, that you know that you can help somebody with is getting lost. And so I really want you to get great at this because this can make a huge difference in your organic content, in your advertising, in your videos, in your email writing, in everything. So, okay. So here in each one of these, I've given you the style. I give you an example and then a little bit of the psychology behind why it works. And I think that's always helpful to be like, oh, okay, that's why this, this that's why that's effective. And so one of the things, we first of all, print this out, print this out so you can have it. I keep uh, these kinds of resources by my desk. Like I've got, I've got this version printed out myself. And what I want to encourage you to do is to, to go through each of these and start rewriting them. You know, how could you use question hooks in your, um, in your copy? It could be like in this case, it's like, did you know you could double your sales in 30 days? Um, it could be, did you know that there are um, visual hooks as well as written hooks? Did you know that people have a longer attention span than ever before? Like there's all sorts of different ways to do that, right? It gets people curious. It gets them thinking. So if you go through each of these and you start to think through, how can I, how can I apply this to my business? How can I rewrite this into my business and start practicing it that way? And then I would encourage you, even if you have content, like let's say you have a reel already created and it's already filmed. So the beginning, the opening, you know, the opening hook, it's all done. You know, it is what it is. Maybe it's not that great. Maybe it's awesome. But you can still take the opportunity to rewrite the, the caption. The very first line of your caption is your hook. The very first word of your video is your hook. So you can, even if you have existing content, maybe you have great content that you've already published, you could go in and edit the hook. So you can go in and, and edit the post to see if you can improve upon some of the things. So um, I want to encourage you to, to go through this and think through how can you use this for your business? How could you rewrite some of these examples? All right, because that's kind of, that's how you're going to start to get better. That's that whole intentionality of getting better at writing hooks. So again, I've got 10 different styles for you in here, a little bit about how to use it effectively. And so this, this is kind of like that first level, right? Then the next thing, like if you wanted to take it a step further, then I have something I call it the ultimate hook jumpstart pack. It's only seven bucks, um, but it is, it's actually 20 more styles than, than what you have in here. And then I have multiple examples for each one and some writing prompts that are going to help. Um, it's just going to help you get your creative juices flowing. It's a really powerful thing because sometimes what happens is, is you get stuck and you start writing the same style hook over and over again because that's your comfort level. So the more, I believe, the more, the more styles you have access to, the more ways you learn to write hooks from different angles, the better. Uh, one, you know, there was a training I went through years ago and I always kept it handy and I would really challenge myself to pay attention to what kinds of hooks I used last. Um, and I started to see like I had things that I naturally felt comfortable with. So I would force myself to try the other ones. So the, the hook jumpstart pack is going to give you a ton more than this. And again, it's only seven bucks. And then the only other thing that I have that might help you, and that's this is, would only be for those of you who really want to take your hook planning not just your hook writing, but your planning game to another level. There's um, on the order form for the the hook jumpstart pack. I have something called scroll stopping secrets, and this one, um, this one's a little bit more in depth. I I have power words for you that you can use in your writing. Um, I've got worksheets for you to actually plan your video hooks, your opening hooks, and and really do it with a level of intentionality that will make such a, a huge difference in your business. So um, again, if that's something, if that's you, if you want to take this to the next step, I highly encourage you to head over to the, um, I'll have a link in the email to grab the ultimate hook jumpstart pack and then grab the scroll stopping secrets. S scroll stopping secrets is normally $37. Um, I've made it $27 uh, for those of you who grab the hook jumpstart pack. So it's a special offer um, just because you came into my world this way. So um, I really am excited for you and I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear uh, how you've utilized this, how it's been helpful. Are there areas that you're stuck, things that you have questions about, um, or other areas when it comes to hooks? I've been part of hook, uh, hook writing workshops. I have been part of masterminds where we help each other with hooks. There is so many places that you can take this. I, I'm really, um, whether you realize it or not, you stepped into a topic that will absolutely change the way you market your business and the way you market your expertise. And I want to help you do that. I have seen, um, I have seen content that flops. I have seen content that just surpasses all expectations. I have 
been behind over $10 million in advertising of content that works. And so I am excited to share as much as I possibly can with you to help you grow your business so that you have just more confidence and more, more freedom and more revenue and all the good things. So with that, I'm going to unleash you to these hooks, start writing. But, but I'd love, again, I'd love to hear from you. Hit reply. Let me know um, if this was valuable. I'd love to hear your comments. I'd love to hear, I'd love to hear anything about your business and how I can better serve you to be more successful. So with that, happy hook writing and we'll see you next time.